So I'm right by the cesspit with Emma, um, checking out if we have some bricks. So we've got these really old tiles for the roof. Um, I don't think that's going to be useful for the patio floor. And otherwise, these bricks, which are these bricks, um, and I've got a couple more over here. They are currently forming this wall and that wall, which ideally I want to rip down anyway. But the only thing is that they have holes in them. <laughs> and I wasn't actually planning on having bricks that have holes in them as a patio floor. And some of them don't, so this one doesn't. So it's a bit of a mix and match sort of situation. This is going to be really easy to disassemble because it's mud. This is just mud. That's not cement, so that's easy to take apart. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit dubious about is the holes in the bricks. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's ideal for a patio floor. Hmm. But I don't think I have an option because I'm not going to be using roof tiles. That wouldn't work. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and have some bricks with holes in them. I mean, they're going to be filled with sand anyway, so maybe that's fine. There's a couple more bricks over here. They are really broken and you can see it was a wall that fell over. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's lots of bricks here, but they've all got holes in them. So I guess my, my, my patio is just going to have a bunch of holy bricks. <laughs> that's ridiculous, but okay. So I've put a couple of holy bricks. <laughs> so silly holy bricks, oh my gosh. Um, but they will be filled with sand, so that will look a little different. And if I put chairs on them, the chair legs won't sink into the holes because they'll be filled with sand. So I think it'll be fine. And also this is the only option I've got. <laughs> Don't have any other bricks. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead with this. Um, but I've also noticed I need to make this more level. <laughs> it's not, it's not very level. It's uh, very unlevel. <laughs> so that's something I can figure out. Okay, I've got some really good news. So this little plank here, it's going to help me level out the soil. So basically I just drag this over the soil and then it's going to show me where the dips are and where there's too much soil and then I just get to level it out. So this is a great tip. I found it on YouTube and I'm going to do that tomorrow afternoon. I'm pretty tired right now. Um, Emma's also tired. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey Emma. Hey Emma. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, gonna go get a spade and shade cloth. I'm so happy with how that looks. I'm excited for tomorrow. I think we might be getting some rain tonight. Maybe just a drizzle. The clouds in Bulgaria are just something else. I think Smudgy might want to come out. I don't let her out in the evening because the sun has set. That means inside time, there are jackals around and most of the time it actually sounds like the jackals are right outside my window. I'm, I'm not sure where they are, but they are extremely loud and I'm definitely not gonna risk having the cats out at night. I wouldn't be able to sleep. But she doesn't care. She's like, ah, I need adventure time. Sorry, Smudge. No sunset walks. So beautiful. Good morning. Update. Smudge is drinking some water. <laughs> Ridiculous cat. And it's going to be a beautiful day. Look at that sky. Not a cloud to be seen. And that is my project today. Gonna put some bricks down. Also update on Bailey. 
having a little snooze in the conservatory and Smudge is still drinking and Emma is being a good little doggy. What a good dog. Okay, here's the update. I've moved the bricks out of the way and I've leveled off this area and a little bit over there. I've used this, this plank here just to make it as level as possible and it's looking good. It's looking really good. So I'm going to start off with this area here and put the bricks there. But first, I'm going to put the sand over there, which will help level it even more. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is hopefully going to end up really level. <laughs> okay, update. Sand is in. I've leveled it out nicely. It's really thin because it's not for drainage. It's just to help level it out. And... That's what it's done. I've used this plank again and I think it's looking good. So sand is finished for now. I'm going to start with the bricks. Update. I've put some bricks down. So I'm not sure, entirely sure if I want to keep that wall around it. Probably not actually. So I'm going to remove those bricks and just have a flat area. Um, or maybe I'll just keep uh, this little edging wall on one side. I'm not really sure. At the moment, I'm just laying all the bricks down here. It's going to be quite a few bricks. <laughs> so that'll probably be the whole day today. And I'm very lucky again. It's not super sunny. It's sort of overcast at the moment. So it's perfect for brick laying. I've just noticed that this brick pattern is not so good. <laughs> because once this gets to that side, it's gonna need to have half bricks, like chop that brick in half and then another half brick here. So every second brick needs to be half a brick. And I don't really feel like breaking all these half bricks. So I'm gonna have to change this brick laying pattern. It's gonna be the same on the side as well. Of course, it'll need to be half brick, half brick, half brick. Yeah, so I'm going to change this up and see what other brick patterns there are out there. I'm taking a little break to hang out with Bailey. Smudgy's over there underneath the chair. I've piled a bunch of bricks over there. I've carried them from around the corner, from the east side. <laughs> and now we're on the south side. <laughs> so... Yeah, I've piled all these bricks. These are good bricks, they're not broken, so they'll be quite easy just to put down there wherever they need to go. And I've been thinking about this edging, and I just spoke to Nicholas about it as well. So that side of the edging is good, and I'll fill in the soil on the opposite side of where the bricks are. So on that side, I'm going to put some soil in to fill up that space. But this edging, I'm going to remove and have that flat because I think that will feel better. So I'm just going to have edging on that side. And not on this side and not on that side. And this side has already got sort of edging. So that's the plan right now. Just taking a breath. I have some elderflower water I'm drinking with mint tea and admiring the nice views, listening to the roosters beautiful clouds, mm, peaceful. Alrighty, here's an update. <laughs> it doesn't look much different, but it is a little bit different and it is taking a little bit more time and effort than I thought, but it is progressing as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, so this I'm, I'm quite happy with this pattern. I think it's okay. What I've done here is I've put a couple half bricks and I think they look fine. Yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with that. I'm going to carry on doing half bricks and I've just chopped them to size here with this shovel and that worked great as well. I think it's a decent result. So I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing here. Look what Bailey has learned from Smudge. This is apparently the drinking hole. This is their new water bowl. I don't, I don't know. 
cats are very peculiar <laughs> and also very cute. Bailey, what you doing? What you doing, Bailey? What you doing? Can you catch some water? Hey now. Hey kitty cat. More water? I'm okay. That must be some really good water. <laughs> Here's the update. I think it's maybe a third there already. It's actually really hard work. <laughs> it's a lot of bricks. I have not counted them and I don't think I will. <laughs> it's just a lot. And I'm taking a break and looking at the clouds uh, and mountains. It's so beautiful. The roses and the lilies are going strong. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And these little wild geraniums. I'm pretty sure it's wild geraniums. I'm not really sure, but they're just going wild. <laughs> so that looks nice. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day. So glad it's semi overcast. We even had a couple drops of rain earlier. And that definitely helps with hard work like this. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. And that is when YouTube will start paying me, hopefully. <laughs> so if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe. It would help a lot. Thank you.